Hey Leo, this is your um, October monthly reading for Love, Money, and Career. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today. And um, after you have finished watching this reading, sorry, we got sage burning here. Um, <laughs> please um, scroll down below to find um, information for personal readings and um, information on how to connect to. The Unexpected, which is an extension to this reading, um, there will be information in that reading um, for what you don't know. It's like the unexpected. The unexpected is something you're not prepared for. If there's anything, any surprises coming up for the month that aren't in the regular monthly reading. Sorry, I'm trying to put out this flyer I got going here. <clears throat> so that link will be down below as well. Click on that. It takes you to Vimeo. Scroll down and the, the um, each zodiac sign will be listed below that. So uh, And also, guys, don't forget to check your <clears throat> rising sign and moon sign as well because many times those will resonate more than your sun sign reading. So check that out. All right. <clears throat> Leo's. Here we go. For the month of October, please, Spirit. Leo, for the month of October. Three cards. Love, money, career. We're going to use this Radiant Rider Weight deck. We'll do one of these cards. We'll clarify with the um, Gypsy Oracle deck and do um, a card for advice from Soul's Journey Oracle. One card for general energy from the Wisdom of the Golden Path. So... Love money career, please. Love money career. For Leo. Leo. Love money career for Leo. Love money career for Leo. October, please. October for Leo. Love money career in that order of spirit. Okay. See what we got here, Leo. Alrighty. Love. We got the Seven of Cups. Money. Uh oh, the moon. <laughs> Oi. And uh, career. The chariot in the reverse. Okay, you guys. Wow. <clears throat> so, bottom of the deck, however, is the Ten of Cups. So, um, there's a couple um, sort of heavy cards here, but overall, the general energy is happy. Ten of Cups happy. So that's like happy family, um, joy, fulfillment, um, happy couples, happy, you know, with children. Um, There's an element of making the best of it here, so we'll see what the rest of the reading is about. Um, there's much contentment here throughout the month. Um, for some of you, it's about family, um, whether you have your own children or you're married um, or, um, or you're, you know, uh, like fathers and mothers and that type of thing. Um, so that could be relationship or um, relationship family or family family. So let's see what's going on here. What else is going on? We'll start with love. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about <clears throat> having a lot of options and trying to figure out which one is best, which one is... Spirit is saying, all the glitters is not gold. <laughs> So you're trying to make some kind of decision here. Um, I'm, I got some of you think you're in a very precarious position in the love department, and you need to make the right decision, and it's important. You're trying to be discerning, um, trying not to make the same mistakes maybe that you made in the past. You're very. Some of you 
Um, yeah, some of you have had some obstacles placed in your path in the love department, um, and you are trying uh, you're trying to find your way through those obstacles or around them. Um, Spirit is saying truth. Wow, what was that? Um, <laughs> Spirit is saying true sense of value. Like it, it, it won't be easy for you to discern which choices. I feel like you guys got a lot of choices actually. Um, they're saying it, for, but for whatever reason, it's not going to be easy for you to see which one is the best choice. Um, So they are talking about behaviors from the past. You do need to be careful not to repeat these behaviors or this is what you're gonna be trying. This is, this is why your decision is so difficult. Um, And there's also, I'm also seeing like maybe a little bit of deception here. So, or you're worried about, um, you're worried about one of them being deceptive or if any of them are deceptive, you just don't have time for it or you don't want to deal with it. Um, so difficult decisions here. <clears throat> There's also someone um, I'm getting, uh, for some of you, you need to be forthright with someone before you can go forward. Um, yeah, it, there's confusion here. I see a smoke screen. Um, look, you know, you have to, you do have to be careful. They are saying all the glitters is not gold. So the sparkly stuff. They're saying pay attention to the signs, Leo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, so be careful. I don't know. I am seeing some deceit, some deception, some lies. And, and, and that may be, um, that is why this decision is so difficult for you this month. <clears throat> it's about deciding which one of your suitors is best um, to go forward with. Let's clarify that. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. So you got consolation. It's in the reverse. <laughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> oh yeah, bottom of the deck, frivolity. Um, so for some of you, uh, the decision has to do with money and whether money is worth it. So one of these suitors may have a lot of money or um, when this card's in the reverse, it's about, it's quite possible that you wouldn't take it or you don't want it or, you, or you're um, not getting it or you don't think it's worth it so you're not gonna take it. Um, So some of you, some of you already have money in your pocket and you don't need more. So I don't know if, if someone is, it's possible that someone you're with or um, in other words, you, you, you know, you don't want to base your decision on money or you're trying to decide whether or not to stay with someone who supports you possibly here, Leo.
But I see you in October listening to the, they're saying they're listening to the God's advice and trying to discern what choice is best for all everyone involved. Um, but it won't be easy here. Leo. Let's get a card for advice here in love. Card flip. Fetch the flipped. I'm gonna take it. Surrender. <clears throat> Surrender. So it reads, I release my need to control. You know, I'm going to do two for each one. Ah, and peace. Okay. So peace reads, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So they want you to calm down a little bit. The decision is, whatever decision is, this is your decision to make. But there's no need to, you're, you're being so discerning or you're being, um, the confusion is the problem here. So you need to surrender the situation a bit. Um, Yeah, they're saying you need to find your footing again in a deep sea of confusion this month. Um, you need to go forward in a relationship that has meaning um, and that isn't frivolous. So there's a need here to, um, to think seriously The surrender card is about sort of, it's about grounding yourself. They want you to surrender to the situation. So you're you're letting your nerves and your confusion get to you here. And they want you to surrender the situation, um, let go of all the negative energy. Um, whatever choice you make here, Leo, is for the best. You're, you're making the best possible decision for yourself and for others. It's, um, they're saying you, you're going to make a decision for what smart, sensible, grounded approach to love will actually be. Not something frivolous or something that's not serious or um, they want you to make a decision based on love, not about, it shouldn't be about money or convenience, Leo, just so you know. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, here we go. What's next? I just said the word money, and money is next. So you got the moon here. Um... So um, it's like a there is a, like a hard realization about the future that needs to be faced here. Um, so you guys have some money in your pocket, and you didn't get there by yourselves. You had help. Uh, some of you accepted funds from maybe a former lover or a husband or maybe got it in a divorce or um, former wife, etc. Um, and so I, I believe once you make this love decision here, you guys, this is about, this is about not knowing um, where maybe your next uh, check is going to come from or maybe how you're going to guys really need to plan you need this is about you figuring out what you're going to need to retire you know you don't know these things you've never had to possibly do these things for yourself before um
actually. Yeah, it's about it's about uh, not knowing. You know, you're gonna you might figure out what you need for retirement, retirement planning, etc., and you're gonna realize that you may need a lot more, and you have no idea how to <clears throat> go about getting it or. Um, Like money manifesting has never been your thing, I'm getting. So it's quite possible that some of you, like without a, um, a husband or a wife or a mother or another family member, can't... Or you don't know how you're going to support yourself. Some of you are making a decision here about um, leaving somebody, possibly, or how trying to figure out how you are... Um, So, yeah, your money situation isn't dire. You're just figuring things out for yourself for a change. And the moon card is about sort of feeling your way along those lines and not really knowing or um, being sure about what's in front of you or, um, you know, you're, you're worried about deceptive thinking or deceptive ways or and and you're you know you're wondering if you can trust people with your money etc with the moon card here <clears throat> all right sorry it's getting a little dark in here um this is the sorrow card sorrow bottom of the deck is love you guys have some kind of relationship thing going on here um i i believe some of you look like you're taking steps towards a relationship or taking steps towards happy family um maybe a new relationship the ten of cups here um this is fulfillment and joy but i, I i'm getting a feeling that like you're getting it's like growing pains maybe or the sorrow card here in money Yeah, this is about letting go. They want you to let go of these fears. Um, let go of these fears from the past. You may have been worried about money in the past. Your situation is not as dire. You might be sort of painting it this way. Um, Some of you also, by the way, uh, need to paint your home soon, <laughs> and you have no idea where that money's going to come from um, without certain people's help. And so, you know, I think some of you really wish you could just be totally and completely independent. Um, uh, but you may be realizing that you just can't here yet or not soon. So, it's about, it's about having a better sense of judgment and being more aware of what's needed in your future to go places and get somewhere as far as your finances are concerned. Um, Yeah, for some of you, this Ten of Cups may be very, like, um, happy happy family or a family that's stable and established. I don't see that, though. With Ten of Cups, that's a very happy, joyful card. I think this card is about knowing what you're going for. It's about knowing that this is the end game while you go through this process. Again, kind of like growing pains. Um, they're saying Leo must learn to walk before they run. Learn to walk first before they run. So some of you are becoming, possibly becoming independent or, or um, being separated from someone who has helped you financially here. <clears throat> Thank you.
and you're worried also that you may have to change your uh, your status or your the way you live, the way you eat, the way you treat yourself, all your fun stuff. You know, you you um, your lifestyle. You're worried about that. You're worried that that might change. Leo. Advice for Leo in October, please. Money. guilt <laughs> yep um, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth whoa that's too many okay so you got loneliness I know that I'm never alone and you also got fear I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love so you guys are um, You guys are, this month are kind of going to be battling guilt and loneliness and fear. Um, you guys are in fear. There is something you, that, so spirit is asking you to drop all three of these negative emotions. So um, there is a situation here, and I'm not sure what it is. There's confusion. I believe some of you here with this whole situation are wanting to maybe leave a happy marriage or um, are wanting to go towards a relationship that's, that's like the Ten of Cups here, <coughs> emotionally fulfilling um, and joyful. <coughs> and you may be leaving another situation behind here. Um, you are afraid of, of, of being on your own with these two cards. So your advice for money for October, what they're seeing here, it's about figuring out what you really want. You know, they want you to let all of these feelings go into the past. Um... It's about resolving problems and they want you to stop being fickle. Yeah, it's, a, it's about focusing on your wants and needs going forward and leave these feelings in the past because I, I feel like you guys are just kind of... <clears throat> You guys might be fantasizing a little bit and wondering about money and wondering what, what you're going to do without money and that's, you know, but on the other hand, you want a Ten of Cups relationship here. Um, yeah. And so I feel like this is a tough month for you guys emotionally um, with love and money. I'm just going to turn a light on. I'll be right back. All right. So, um, let's go on to career here. You got the chariot in the reverse. So that's about being stuck. <clears throat> and so, you could be dealing with a cancer um, or a water sign. This is the card of cancer, the chariot. When it's in the reverse, you cannot move forward. Like the way, your way is blocked or the road is, um, the road is blocked. Your car's off on the side of the road. And um, I'm not saying that you're having a car accident. I'm just saying that you can't move forward. Um, Again, you guys are, they're saying the road's a bumpy one. Too many twists and turns. Um, and you guys are having to like negotiate the obstacles. So 
I, I feel like in October, again, again, this has been going on for a while for you guys. I feel like you guys have been unsatisfactory in your career for quite some time. You're ready to move on, but you cannot with this card in the reverse. Um, And unfortunately, <clears throat> hmm. You guys may have to hang in there. Um, so it's not as if you can't leave. You just, you know, this is like roadblocks at the moment. Um, you will, you will move on or you will be able to move on. Um, Yeah, you're looking for another job. Some of you are looking for another job in October with this chariot, um, because the chariot in reverse is, is ready to move. They just, it's just not moving forward yet. The card just needs to be flipped right side up. Um, lately, um, and I, I think in October, you have some controversy there at work too, which <coughs> it's, it's like preventing you from moving on cleanly. So, um, you may feel like you need to leave. Some of you need to want to leave on a good note because you, you need the reference. You don't want things to go bad. Um, and that's why, um, you know, the chariot is in the reverse here because you're waiting, um, or trying to make things portray things in a better light so that when you move on, it's not like, a bad scene and so I don't know what these complications are but there are some there's some twists and turns in the road um, and you want to make sure that you leave on good terms please clarify that wow yeah so you got face faithfulness it came out um, in the reverse Somebody needs, <laughs> pardon me, somebody needs more experience. Um, some of you with the, with the faithful dog in the reverse, it's about more training is needed. Um, this is about, a, this dog might need to learn some new tricks. Um, some of you need to train more or gain more experience in order to, um, leave this position or get a better position or move ahead um, or depart successfully. Um, bottom of the deck was wife. Um, yeah, for some of you, there are children involved here and that's why you need to... Um, I think some of you, it's, this is, so it's about maintaining your image, maintaining your, your, um, <clears throat> and if, I don't know, there's a, there's something about children there. Like you need to maintain your, um, image as a mother and a wife. And, um, for some of you, um, I think some of you feel like your some of you feel like your um, position as a wife or a mother is important here in the view um, you know the view of you know how your children see you um, is important and you certainly wouldn't want to leave a job um, in an unpleasant way. 
some of you may be like the families involved here as well and um, so perceptions are important hmm some of you have an opportunity coming in the future it's just not here yet with the chariot in the reverse um, maybe I think it's possible that once you complete some training or get some credits you'll be able to move on quite successfully advice in career in October whoa you got the friendship card I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Whoa. Let's try that again. I'm not sure which of those cards flipped. Advice and career for Leo. Okay. Honesty. Friendship and honesty. Um, I understand that a, a friend is in my life for a reason. And honesty reads, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. <clears throat> Some of you make um, an important friend here. They're talking about a, a Somebody's going to help you um, come in here and help you um, move ahead. So there's a little bit of um, a, a friend may be very honest with you. Some of you have a friend who tells you like it is. And um, so there needs to be some acceptance of why this person says what they say or is why they're in your life. Um, they want you to accept this advice and move on from it in a positive way. It's not, um, they're, they're asking you to focus on the positive when this person delivers this information to you. Um, Yeah, and I'm some of you, this is a, an important person in your life and, and they may give you advice and you're not going to like it. Um, or you may find it hard to take. Um, but you are going to see things in a much more positive light in the future um, if you decide to take this person's advice and uh, you'll be able to... I think this person may tell you... Um, that you need more training or that you need more experience or that you need um, or this person um, knows what you need but they're beautiful they're they're honest they're completely honest and so you may need to you need to deal with that all right here we go one card for overall energy for Leo for the month here we go Whoa, sorry, that's my timer. We've got bondage. Okay. I'm going to read from the book. This is a tough card. So this is all about being stuck and not being um, able to move forward and being stuck in your head. And because most times bondage is all about, it's your perception that you're stuck and you're not really stuck. It's just how you see yourself. So here we go. If you feel trapped, it is because you have in some way created your own bondage. You are a beautiful soul, full of great wisdom, compassion, and love. It is time to free yourself from the guilt and negative thoughts that keep you prisoner. Allow the sacred rhythm of life to th flow through you. You can do and be anything you want and go anywhere you want. Stop focusing on the negative and you will see the positive side. Your mental attitude can make things seem good or bad and what you think you become. Everything is a matter of perception. To free yourself of these negative thoughts and beliefs, you first just need to become aware of them. 
Every time you catch yourself having a negative thought, stop and consciously replace that thought with a loving and positive thought. Do this and eventually the pattern will be broken and you'll be free. You will see that behind your perceived darkness, there is much light and good fortune. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please um, leave your comments below, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll always uh, know when I post videos. Um, once again, scroll down for information on how to order readings and don't forget to check out The Unexpected for October. All right, you guys. Thanks. See you soon.